Fairchild now uses a new technologically advanced parts fabrication machine extending the life of one of the Air Force's oldest airframes, the KC-135 Stratotaker. Technical Sergeant Daniel Knapp, a 92nd Maintenance Squadron Aircraft Metals Technology Craftsman said, We are consistently working on building this section up uh, to get quite a bit more up-to-date, technologically advanced machines, tools, and equipment within our budget limitations. With the shrinking defense budget, Fairchild maintainers are finding new ways to cut costs, and with the new 3D laser imaging arm, they're able to not only save inexplicable amounts of money, but man-hours as well. Sergeant Knapp said they went from capturing and processing a single part in more than 15 hours to less than 20 minutes, and increased the success rates from a 40% fail rate to nearly perfect every time. Knapp said the reverse engineering aspect of the machine is extremely crucial, as many parts needed to keep the KC-135 mission capable are no longer made. We are working on a 60-year-old airframe uh, that the boneyard, per se, is drying up of parts. The supply system no longer stocks the parts anymore. We don't have the manufacturers in the civilian market making much of the products anymore. So it's falling on us to be able to reverse engineer a lot of this stuff without any kind of drawing, technical data, blueprints, anything. So we mainly get a part that's either worn out of service or broken, it's in pieces, we have to recreate it. Thankfully though, Knapp said there's no limit to what they can do with the new scanner, which enables Fairchild Airmen to provide global reach for America. The sky's really the limit on this item because we can take a product that we have no drawings, data, blueprints, or anything and be able to make a finished product for the airframe. I'm Staff Sergeant Benjamin W. Stratton reporting from Fairchild Air Force Base, Washington.